Okay, today on the bench, we just got this in, got it converted. <coughs> Striker SR447 HPC2. 10 12 meter, 10 meter radio. We got the conversion for D band, which gives you your 11 meters. Going over the radio, 4 pin microphone socket, volume and squelch. Your mic gain, your RF power. Your volume delay for your echo. Okay, your channel changer. Up here you have your dim, your dim button. It's how dim or bright you want your display. Okay, in the center, it's just your channel. Up top is your color. Pick between your different color displays. AT is for alternate, no alternate colors for you. Okay, and go back down to center. Okay, your noise blanker plus, which is NB and ANL, noise blanker and off. Mode AM, FM, and PA. And up here you have your actual inside is your talkback, outside is your power, and then back to your band button. Real nice little display over here. I will turn the brightness down. For some reason, it's showing up very bright on camera. It's very bright on camera, that display, for some reason, but it's not right here. <laughs> so that's the controls. We're going to go over to check power. We're going to take, uh, take the meter off normal. PEP. We're going to take our power all the way down. All the way down, you get a dead key up here. Dead key of 2 watts. All the way down, dead key of 2 watts. Non average. All the way up, get a dead key of 12.5. So power down is 2 watts, all the way up is dead key of 12 and a half. We go to 30 watt scale, we'll go to our PEP, all the way down, hello, hello, do about 20 watts audio all the way down, all the way up, now this is a stock radio, power all the way up. Hello, hello. Just about 50 watts all the way up. With our echo on. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. Power is staying with the echo on. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna turn our talk back on here. Hello, one. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, five, four, three, two, one. Of course, you're going to squeal a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. <whistles> Hello. So, that's it. Um, let you talk back on here. Turn it back off. It doesn't have an echo switch like the 955, so you can leave your delay set and on and off here. You know, that's just your volume anyway. So that's fine. You're either going to run with your echo on or echo off. You'll just have to set your delay, your uh, volume each time you turn it on. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Again, I don't know why they're showing up so bright on the camera. Um, nice little rig. Nice, powerful little rig. Good clean audio on these things. Channel, switch, volume. <coughs> so that's that's what they look like. Nice, uh, fancy little, nice fancy little display um, meter. I like that. Nice round display meter, sunken in, not too big. Very small radio. Um, pretty much could fit in the palm of your hand, you know, not a big radio. 
not a big radio, but good, you know, nice heat seek on the back, 50 watts on normal audio. Your hack tech could probably make it do a lot more, but <laughs> I want to make sure it's clean on scope and analyzer if you're going to get it tuned up. But um, this one will be run stock, stock audio, and of course there is a plastic film on here which I didn't take off yet. So. All right, that's pretty much your Striker SR447 HPC2 controls. We'll get some on-air testing, some audio, stuff like that. We'll get that posted in the future. But uh, that's it. Real nice little rig. Real nice little rig. I went over all the controls you have on it. And on the back, there is a programming cable port. And an external speaker slash PA sticker port on the back. And that's all controlled by AM, FM, or PA. Okay. So, all right, guys. That's it. Take care.